Hello. Okay, I'm not sure how well the camera can focus on this, but here we are. And here is me again. And this view is like much more better than what I can actually show you. There's a place called Lime Reach just over there. It's a beautiful evening and I'm feeling a bit better so I thought I'd do a video as long as the camera doesn't crash. Looking alright, looking alright. Look at that trail over there. Yeah, the sunset is just starting to go down. We're in autumn. The cycle goes round again. And you see, I'm wanting my cycles to be going upwards. And I think that's what this video is about. Now, as you may know, many of my videos go on about food and its effects. And it can seem as if I'm a little bit nuts on it, right? Let's just say that each time I get lost with the food and I lose my way with it and I eat the things that make me less spiritually aware, less in my power, less in control because I'm feeling addicted to something, you know, like most of us are. Uh, and, and my senses are decreasing, you know, so many reasons why it doesn't feel good. But each time I do this and then I start to eat well again, it reaffirms to me that what I'm doing is right. And uh, it's something very simple that we had recently. Katie had made some chocolate brownies, which who doesn't love chocolate brownies? Uh, well, I don't actually anymore, to be honest. To be honest, I do not like that, you know. I can think in my head, oh, I'd like a Mars bar or I'd like a lion bar or, you know, whatever. And actually, I might think I do, and I might have a bit of it, and I might be like, mm, it's not bad. But actually, it just does not fulfill like nature's foods do. You know, nature's foods really fulfill. And that's what I've just been feeling back home, eating a bowl of salad on its own. No cooked stuff, you know? So, we have gone through many stages in the past, many stages, many different types of eating and as an experiment, you know? So it's been a long, uh, felt out, felt out path, a long decision to try and cleanse the system through food. Anyway, this feels so good, it feels so good today. So, yes, we had the chocolate brownies and uh, the bi it seems to me as if the bicarbonate of soda that was in it, which I'm just realising now how like unnatural bicarbonate of soda is to our body in that quantity or whatever it is, you know. But the bicarb soda, I had headache. Katie had like headache like for like hours, you know, the next day, head pain. It just sound it sounds nuts because people are eating this stuff all the time, you know. But my system obviously saw it as toxic, you know. And because my system's been so clean through eating raw food all the time, eating natural foods, because in my instinct, my spirit has said to me, eat na natural foods, eat foods as they come from the earth, because that is a sacred vibration, it's a beautiful thing, and it is here for your um, evolution, for you to, to experience a full and happy life, you know, a full and nurtured uh aware, fully alive life. And don't we all want that? We want a fully alive life. I want a fully alive life. And I'm just realizing how through eating that and some chocolate that we had, uh, the chocolate was very strong, dark chocolate, um, that, I mean, I, I couldn't sleep because of that as well. Like that night, like I was up for ages, like mind racing, you know, like felt buzzed, wired, you know, the amount of these foods that we are eating and we are uh, consuming in the normal world yes the body gets used to it to a degree and you don't notice the effects of it people don't notice the effects but let me tell you that the effects are very very strong 
you know, they are, they are destroying our bodies, you know, we are consuming way too much sugar, way too much, uh, you know, uh, wheats, whatever it is that's uh, affecting our body in a negative way. And it's different for each person, you know, we all have allergies, we all have things that certain organs like and certain organs don't, right? So, um, so yeah, it was that dark chocolate as well and whatever was, you know, bicarb soda and all that. Um, and my awareness went down and the next day I was like, oh, I need some potatoes, you know, I need some potatoes to balance out because I don't feel right. And it was partly true, I needed something more substantial just to kind of like calm my system down and the salts to sort of like balance it out a bit. And salt is another one, you know. So people tend to like kind of like seesaw from one thing to another. You know, they get hooked on one thing and then they're like, ah, oh, I feel out of balance, you know, I need to uh, go and get a takeaway that's like full of salt, you know. Or oh, I've had too much savoury stuff, I need to have like a Coca-Cola, you know. So the system is like going from one thing to the other, give me this, whatever, you know. Let's just see if it's still recording. You pro you're probably not going to see me very much on this, so I'll just, uh, you know, keep talking anyway. So, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm so excited through the fact that this is real. That when I felt all these times that eating a raw food diet, not cooking your food, or at least uh, not eating additives and, you know, keeping it natural foods. If you're going to cook it, make it natural foods. Keep the oils low because the high heat and the oils, Dan the man reckons it's like plastic on the body, you know. It's like the body does not want that shit. <laughs> So we're aiming for like perfection. <laughs> we're aiming for having a mind that can just focus really well and not be stupid, you know. The the manipulation of emotions that happen through these crappy foods that is really fucking up. Excuse my language, I had to swear because like I don't really want to on these videos, but it's fucking stupid. Like, you know, what we are doing and, and what what you know, we're not stupid. I just mean that the system the system knows, you know, that we're addicted to this rubbish. They're just feeding us it because it makes money, you know? Big, big money. There's big money in all this stuff, right? There's no money in people being enlightened and going, Ah, hang on. This thing from this tree just made me feel great. You know, like, I feel really... I feel like I've got so much energy and I feel great. It was absolutely beautiful, you know? So, uh... You know, these other foods are alive, they make you vibrate, it's like being, whoa, having loads of energy, you know, in a good way. Whereas when it's things like the high sugars and the fat, you know, the crappy fats and all that, it's like the system's going, Ugh. you know, you feel wired, you know. Uh, I mean, there's just so much more to it than that, you know. The emotional manipulation that goes on and the dramas that we play in order to get fed, you know. And then, you know, the, then the emotional manipulation, like, we'll get upset and then we'll be like, oh, I've got to go to get a takeaway because I've had a crappy day and it's my reason, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is the whole thing, like, if the energies, the controlling energies on the planet can get us to work really, really hard so that we're so out of balance that we're like, I need to go to a rave and get wasted or I need to, you know, take loads of drugs or I need to just have a drink, you know, at the weekend, which is much most people need you know this is the agenda that's going on which is to get us so out of balance that we consume you know so any human who can actually gain balance and return to center good on you because like you know i'm still struggling like <laughs> i'm still struggling but i i'm slowly doing it you know but I'm telling you, like, the reason I'm saying this is because there's something in this raw food thing. There's something going on with it, you know. There's, you know, it's, it's happening for a reason, this raw food movement, you know, or whatever, you know, cooked food gently, like rice. Uh, and, I mean, I've been having rice and lentils here and there. But even that, you know, there's a time for that. And it's easy just to get hooked on wanting more and more of the dead foods which don't hold that it's almost like the vibe it's almost like the molecules the water this guy right change the subject this guy was saying 
today about that there's crystals in all the cells or something, or crystal, no, that was it, crystal in all the water in the body. You know, so the idea is, is that the crystal is vibrating. You know, we are full of crystal, crystalline energy or whatever in us, you know. I don't know much about it, I'm just saying. But point is, is that when we are uh, adulterating the foods and creating all this, like, concoctions, you know, that we are altering what is naturally vibrating very high in energy. You know, it's, the, these foods have soaked in the sun, they're, they're alive, you know, they've not been manipulated and not been just stored in a factory for weeks, you know, where the life energy is just zapped out of it, right? We've got to get this, man, because this is like, you know, this is the, this is the key. So I'm slowly coming out of my stupor, my stupidity from eating the other stuff, which literally just lowers your awareness like that. You know, so I'm no longer going to feel stupid for talking about the food like this because it is absolutely crucial that we realise which foods are messing up our gut, our heart, our system, you know, our whole body, our endocrine system, whatever, you know, the way our organs function, the way our whole meridian system, whatever, we've got to realise that this is actually happening to us, you know, and this is as much a message for me as for anyone else. I've long known that the foods straight from the wild that haven't gone through this processing, that aren't here for commerciality, commerciality, those foods um, will get you there quicker, you know, they'll, they'll help you raise your awareness, you know, those foods have not been corrupted because what's happening is when we take these things in that have been messed around with, spiritually it's affecting our energy as well, spiritually. We've got to stop thinking that it's just about pesticides or whatever, you know. That is there, but what's going on is a spiritual thing. And when we are eating even, say, avocados that have been intensively farmed, if the spirit of the avocado is not happy, then we will feel that energy within our body, you know. You can't cheat life, you can't mess with life and expect everything to be all dandy and good. There you go. In other news this week. <laughs> so you can hardly see anything now, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this really matters because the body is a place for the spirit to reside, you know? And uh, the body although it has been hijacked and although it has been manipulated and although our DNA may have been messed around with and although we may have even artificial intelligence working on us, robotic stuff, whatever, basically the human body was made with the intention that spirit could interface with it and our choices matter for what we put inside our body, for what resonates because like attracts like you know so if we put dirty gungy stuff that our body has struggle with um struggle assimilating then we are allowing ourselves to resonate in that level rather than allowing the divine body to do what it needs to do and i may be one of not many who generally say that the body is a divine and beautiful thing you know, a, a lot of the people just say the body is something to transcend or whatever, you know. But to me, the body is a beautiful and sacred and special thing. No less spirit than anything else. The natives believe that all is spirit, all is part of spirit. So, and that's the thing, you know. So I just kind of like encourage everybody to just try to be raw for like five days, you know, or whatever, just try, because I've just come back from eating normal stuff, you know, for like a few days. I was having just like fried potatoes and just that on a couple of days, and that was enough to do it, right? Because we're talking the high heat with the oils, you know, and that, the system is getting overloaded. 
you know, we don't know all the answers yet, but there's stuff going on with this, and I've got to kind of speak my truth on it. We don't know exactly what's being done to the foods as well that we're getting. Right, I think I'll cut it off there. Anyway, take care, everybody, and uh, yeah, enjoy your enjoy your evening or whatever. And um, just give it a go, you know, just give it a go because there's life in that food and it will spark, spark your energy flowing again, especially if you've been depressed or whatever. And if you can keep it up, if you can keep it up, you're going somewhere, you know, cheers.